menu is huge. There's so many choices. It's hard to decide what to order. Okay, so now we're inside the Kinopio Cafe and we're gonna try all this food. We've got a lot to go through and so much of it is super cute. I'm, I'm, I cannot stress how excited I am about this. We've got mushroom soup in a super mushroom container. There's question block tiramisu, gold coast cake, uh, super mushroom pizza bowl, Bowser shell hamburg steak, uh, piranha plant caprese, a Mario burger with a cute little cap, and these two drinks. Uh, Hot yuzu lemonade and lemon squash soda. <laughs> so we're gonna try all of this. I'm so excited. Let's let's dig in. All right, first we're gonna try this entree. We've got the Mario burger, the bacon cheeseburger actually. It's got the hat on top, like I pointed out earlier. Lots of mushrooms. They they really like the mushroom thing here. So let's go ahead and, and see if I can get my hands on this. Very juicy flavor, lots of barbecue sauce. I'm gonna need a napkin though. <laughs> uh, the bacon is a little bit more crisp than I'm used to. You don't really get a lot of the mushroom flavor, which I'm okay with because I don't like mushrooms too much. This is really good though. I love the mushroom, uh, the Mario bacon cheeseburger. Cannot speak today. I definitely recommend this. The Bowser shell hamburg steak. You got this really cool crust here that makes it really sell it. And there's a Bowser flag, like you'd see in, in New Super Mario Brothers kind of thing. So let's go ahead and cut through this. Ooh, it falls right apart. <laughs> Get this, a little crust on there. there we go. I recommend the burger much more. Hamburg steak is a very Japanese thing. But this is good. It's juicy. It's cooked on. It's done very well. Very well cooked. Carrots are, carrots are pretty good. And the mashed potatoes, this is rare in Japan. The mashed potatoes even taste like they have a good amount of salt in them. So, I mean, this is good. I like this. I think I like the Mario burger better, though, honestly. Next, we've got the piranha plant caprese. I love caprese. It's like one of my favorite appetizers. Uh, let's do the mozzarella sauce first. Or the mozzarella cheese first, at least. Mm. Oh, wow. That basil is incredible, too. Take a bite of the strawberry. Very fresh, very juicy. And now, of course, the tomato. tomato as well. Wow, this is really good. I love the caprese. It was cute. Definitely recommend this one. We've got the super mushroom pizza bread bowl. And I'm going to try and figure out how to eat this really quickly. Uh, right. Oh, oh, here we go. So you lift the top off and you can see inside of here. And then the bread. Good crispy bread, and inside the pizza bowl as well. Lots of cheese and tomatoes here. Oh wow! Oh, this is good. I really like this. This might be my favorite of the appetizers. I think this is good. This is the goal post cake. It comes with a little. I think it's a cherry right here. Yeah. And it's got all these different layers. It looks like the, the end of a Mario level, which is kind of what you can see outside as well. Let's try this real quick. Mm. Very sweet, very light. Japanese like these light cakes kind of thing. They can taste all the different Neapolitan flavors. You got chocolate, strawberry, uh, and vanilla. All three on here. This is excellent. I really like this. It's cute, good for Instagram. I think you'll like this one. Look at this question block tiramisu. All these little cookies on the edge that look like the, uh, the famous question block from Mario games. And on the inside, get one of these off real quick. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and 
let's go ahead and take a bite of this real quick. Very light coffee flavor like you'd expect with tiramisu. Um, not like your fanciest kind of thing. This is kind of an everyone sort of thing. If you like tiramisu but you're not a big like strong coffee flavor kind of person, you'll like this one. And our last appetizer is this mushroom soup, and it comes in a super mushroom container. How cool is this? You lift off the top, and you got your soup on the inside. And the soup, this looks good. Let's go ahead and try this. Very thick soup. You can definitely taste the mushroom in this one, which is for the best, considering it's a mushroom soup. I like this, actually. I'm not usually a mushroom person, but I really enjoy this. And can't resist the containers. Don't miss the mushrooms. So we're back at the Kinopio Cafe here at Super Nintendo World, and we're gonna be trying some more food. I actually have a lot here. There's so much food that we couldn't get it all done last time. So uh, let's spread our very special Kinopio Cafe napkins, which are incredibly cool, by the way. <laughs> and let's dig in. This isn't a very big table, so I kind of have to space things out a little bit. Uh, let's go with another entree. Here we have the Fire Flower Spaghetti. Very big meatballs, too. I'm really interested to see how this turns out. Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Thank goodness I can use a fork with this. Just really quickly, though, I love this little Fire Flower engraved cracker. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, meatball first. Mm. Very fresh. You can see it inside the meatball right there. Mm. I mean, what more could you want from a meatball, honestly? <laughs> now for the actual pasta. Oh, it sticks together a little bit. Oh, that's not ideal. <laughs> See if we can. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not as hot about this, honestly. Um, it needs more cheese and more sauce, I think. I don't know. This is a little bland, honestly. I'm. Uh, I'm not loving it. There we go. <laughs> it could be. It could be worse. It certainly could be worse. I've had worse spaghetti at a theme park. No, I think I'm good for now on the spaghetti. Let's uh, let's move on. Put that over there. You can't see it, but this table, like every single possible space, is filled with food. <laughs> I wanted to try everything for you guys because I know there's gonna be so many questions over what's good and what's not. So the next thing we're gonna try, we're gonna do the other pasta. It's the Yoshi Carbonara. And if you look on top, it has a Yoshi egg of cheese. It just looks incredible. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Notice our production quality has also improved this time over. <laughs> You know, as famous as Italians are for pasta, I don't think that uh, Mario and the Toads have figured it quite out yet. The sauces for both of these are really bland. Oh, it's an egg, excuse me. The Yoshi is an egg, I thought it was cheese. Mm. Egg's good. Egg yolk doesn't really make up for this much. At least the bacon is good. Let's take a drink break, I think. Move my next food into place, but let's take a drink break real quick. We are gonna try this uh, lemon squash soda. I believe. It's got this colorful tapioca on the bottom that you can see. Cute cup. 
up to. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is good. Um, lemon squash soda is fairly common in Japan. It's like lemon soda with a little bit more of a kick to it, I think. Oh, I was wrong. These aren't tapioca chunks. They're fruit jelly, uh, fruit, fruit jelly chunks. <laughs> but they're good. They're really good. I like this, actually. That's good. Next round of food, Yoshi salad. Contrary to popular belief, I actually enjoy salad. <laughs> Let's give this a shot. It's got kiwis and strawberries and peas and what appears to be melon. Lots of greens and vegetables. Let's see if I can get like a good variety in here. Split peas. This is good. I like it. Um, it's meant to be a side, but if you're like me and you have a smaller stomach because you've lived in Japan for a while, it might be good as a full-blown entree. Mm. The fruits are all really fresh. Uh, the greens are nice and crisp and juicy. It doesn't taste like you would expect a fast food salad to taste. This is actually really good. If you're looking for a low calorie choice, you really can't go wrong with this Yoshi salad, honestly. I can't stop eating it. I, I really like this. <laughs> Next is this, um, for the life of me, I can't remember what this is called actually, but it's some sort of portobello, stuffed portobello mushroom. I'm kind of afraid of this. I, I don't like portobello mushrooms very much. Let's see how this turns out. Maybe I need the knife for this. Yeah. Better knife. <laughs> Problems of being right-handed. <laughs> what am I talking about? Everyone's right-handed. <laughs> By the way, if you can hear, they're playing uh, renditions of different Mario songs. So they've got Dusty Garden Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. They're playing Delfino Plaza right now. I heard Peanut Park in the ordering area. Uh, this whole land is filled with uh, musical interludes that have been reorchestrated. Excuse me, it's really quite spectacular. I wish they would release this somewhere, like even just on Spotify. I would listen to all of it because it's all so good. I don't like the smell of this. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to taste like all the cheese and the basil and stuff that's on this, but I don't. I taste the portobello mushroom around it and I do not like it at all. This is just not good. I'm sure that everyone who likes mushrooms will probably enjoy this. The problem is, I just don't like mushrooms. Which is unfortunate, because everything in here is mushroom, but but as you've seen so far, I like uh, the mushroom soup. I thought it was good, and I like the pizza. Uh, I just don't like this portobello mushroom. It's not, no, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'll eat one more bite, just to give it a second fair shot, but I just don't like this. No, 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 I'm done with this. I don't even want to eat this like once I'm done being on the camera. No. That's going in the trash where it belongs. <laughs> Alright. Next we've got fish miniere. I have no idea what miniere is. So uh, I guess I'm about to get a lesson. This doesn't look that bad though. Huh. It tastes like slightly overcooked fish fillet. 
I'm not sure if that's how Meniere is supposed to taste, and it tastes fine, honestly. I don't mind it too much. It's a little salty. For contrast, the potato, the mashed potatoes that are on the side need more salt. That's just a problem I face in Japan in general. And these carrots are cold. If I can get them back on the fork. Yeah, you don't really need to eat the, the fish manure. It's all right. It's not the worst thing I've eaten so far. I think I like all the things that I had last time much more than what I've eaten this time. What else have we got? Oh, we got a drink. There's one more drink we gotta try. But it is a hot yuzu lemonade. I'm gonna have to say no. No. Just no. The, uh, this is not good. <laughs> it's like hot lemon water that's like not watery enough, but also too watery, I guess. I don't know how I would put this. However I would put it, I do not like it. Um, I will, I will stick with my backup drink. Get that taste out of my system. There we go. All right. Dessert time. We have this chocolate cupcake with some cherries on top. Oh, this looks good. Problem with cherries in Japan though is that they're always seeded. So it's no fun for me to eat them like maraschino cherries, because they always have seeds. Hmm. I stand corrected. These are legitimate maraschino cherries. Wow, I'm actually happy about this. I haven't had a maraschino cherry in Japan in so long, because they all have seeds, and they're all like regular cherries. This whipped cream is phenomenal too, wow. Oh my god. I'm excited to eat the actual cupcake. Let me find, get a new fork, just for the dessert. I gotta thank the people, I gotta thank the wonderful crew members here at the Kinopio Cafe. First of all, for making all this food, and for bearing with me as I set up the table. Because it took a minute to get all of this ready. So just to thank you, if, you, if any Universal Japan, uh, Universal Studios Japan crew members are watching, thank you for bearing with me during this process. Uh, let's have the other, oh, the other cherry stem came off, okay. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. Oh wow. Let me get another piece and like show you the different layers, if possible. It doesn't want to cut cleanly anymore. Here we go. We got the chocolate cake, and then there's whipped cream, and then there's this really, there's hardened chocolate up here a little bit. Oh, oh this is incredible. Oh my god. It's really, it's like this richer dark chocolate kind of taste, which I prefer dark chocolate, so that works for me. Uh, and then it just, it's, it's a perfect chocolate cupcake. I love it. It's so good. And that concludes this round of what to eat at the Kinopio Cafe and what not to eat at Universal Studios Japan. So we're back at the Kinopio Cafe for one last round of food. It's a different day, you can tell by the hair probably. Same shirt though. <laughs> I had it washed while I was here. So uh, let's get ready for our final round. Got our napkin out. Let's dig in. We got a few things left. It's a lot of food here. <laughs> and I hope it's good. Uh, 
Last time we had a eh, kind of experience. My food from my first trip is still my favorite so far, but maybe what we have here can change that. You never know. Uh, let's start with the companion to the Mario burger. We have the Luigi burger. And the Luigi burger is a chicken burger with, I think they said, green curry. I'm willing to try everything once. <laughs> Although, just in case, I'm going to keep the Coke candy. <laughs> just right there. Mm. Alright. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Hmm. It's good. I like this. There's a little bit of a kick to it, but not much. And I'm really sensitive to spicy food. I can tell you that this is safe. Even though this is curry, you're fine. Mm. All right, what do we got next? Teriyaki chicken with rice. This is really cute. I like this. All right, let's have the rice first. Rice is rice, you know. It's all right. It's good. The chicken's fine. It's juicy, it's cooked well. It tastes relatively fresh. Maybe just because it be because I took ten minutes to take pictures and set up for this video that it's a little cold, but such is the life making YouTube videos. <laughs> the uh, st the cooked pineapple on top is excellent as well. I like that. All right. Let's move on to the omu rice. Omu rice is a Japanese food, for those of you who don't know. It's a Japanese food designed to seem Western. I think it came about sometime in the mid-century. I'm never a fan, honestly. I think it's weird. Eggs on top of rice. Let's try some of this shrimp garnish first, though. It's shrimp, it's fine. It's not like deluxe shrimp or anything, but it's enjoyable. Now let's dig into this mood ice. Looks like for this version, they just literally went with a uh, scrambled egg with rice on top. <laughs> It's nothing special. It's the same yellow rice as in that star. I wouldn't want to eat this personally. Maybe someone else would. But it's really bland. There's no seasoning in the eggs. And then, I mean, rice is rice, you know. The big thing that I've been saving for last, uh, there is a big cake. Kind of like the one from the beginning of uh, Super Mario 64 where Princess Peach says she baked a cake for Mario. Well, this time, she actually did. <laughs> and we got it right here. Check this out. This could be a meal on its own. I'm afraid to eat the whole thing just for the calories alone, honestly. But it's got a really cute inscription here. It says, Dear friends, I poured my heart into this cake I baked for you. I hope you enjoy it. Yours truly, Peach. It's cute. I gotta steal myself to eat this a little bit. There's 
There's little star crackers on top. Look at that. All these little fruits. There's raspberries on the side. Raise that up in the corner. There we go. There's the inscription on the cookie. I wish I had like two or three more people to share this with, honestly. This is too much, probably, for me. Unless I want to regain all the weight I just lost. It's a lot of whipped cream. <laughs> it is a lot of whipped cream. Let me turn this around for you. A lot of whipped cream. <laughs> the fruits add some flavor, but it's basically a vanilla cake. I mean, it's nothing special. It's good. It's really good, but it's also insanely sugary, and I will not be finishing it. It's a sugar cookie. Anyway, we have now officially eaten everything at the Kinopio Cafe. This is everything, except the kids' food. Did not eat the kids' menu. So what was my favorite? Well, you'll just have to go on to UniversalParksNewsToday.com and find out for yourself. There'll be a full review on there. Maybe you came here from that review. Go read it, <laughs> and you'll find out what my favorite is. Thanks for joining us.